afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Kind of a cooler morning today, at least cooler than it has been. So I figured I'd do some travel trailers so I don't have, uh, not able to run air to them. And uh, just got this one in, guys. This is a new travel trailer review. This is a 2023 brand new Forest River No Boundaries or Nobo, as most people know them as. Uh, 20.3 and this is a relatively new series for Nobo the 20 series this is their full size version a full eight foot wide this particular one is 25 feet eight inches long and it weighs 5336 pounds dry weight has a slide out now guys for those of you who are not familiar with the no boundaries lineup these are very very popular uh, with the off-road crowd because these are truly a off-road capable camper uh, this year the 2023 model has probably had the most model changes of any year since they came into existence uh, the most notable changes is of course the beast mode which is the uh, fully axleless independent suspension system they have on these and uh, by current engineering and basically you've got no axles it's a, it's a double you've got four wheels of course i would say double axle but there's no axles but Two shocks, heavy duty suspension um, for if you take this thing off road because it's no industry secret, guys. Campgrounds are booked up solid. Uh, primitive camping, boondock camping, whatever you want to call it, is at an all time high. And of course, you know, travel trailers traditionally hard to take off road, but Nobo has got the highest ground clearance of any travel trailer. And the 20 series with the beast mode not only you have the highest ground clearance but you got the suspension to match so not only can you get your camper there but all your stuff's not going to be slung out of your cabinets and laying in the floor when you get there as well i mean this beast mode is some pretty awesome stuff and i'll try to show you some more information about it later on in the video tour but guys this is a brand new camper uh, msrp is fifty two thousand and change i believe I've got this one, of course, I believe putting the price out there. That's the most important thing, 34 9 And guys, unlike other new dealers, this is the only brand I carry new. I'm primarily a used dealer for those of you watching for the first time. I don't have any upsells. I don't have any fees. In other words, if you see this same camper somewhere else, you know, most of these are right around 40 grand on RV Trader. Guys, you're not going to go in there with a $40,000 check and buy a new Nobo. They're going to hit you up with a couple thousand dollars worth of dock, uh, dock fees, prep fees, uh, destination fees, happy camper fees, and, and this fee and that fee, and all that is 100% dealer profit, completely unnecessary to buy a new or used RV. So they're going to hit you up with all those fees, going to add a couple of grand, but then here comes eight, nine, 10, 12 grand or more in upsells. You know, that, that 40 grand camper you saw advertised online by the time you pull out with it, it's going to be well into the 50s is what you're going to pay for. Then they're not going to take your money. Most of them are going to charge, most dealerships charge you more when you bring your own money. But to sell it for that price, they want you to go through one of their preferred lenders. And that's because they make money on the financing and they miss out on thousands of dollars in profit when you bring cash to buy a camper uh, versus going through one of their finance sources. Not only that, but it's easier to see the upgrades, the upsells, like the extended warranties, the gap insurance, the tire and wheel packages, all this other stuff that's not worth the paper it's written on that's marked up four or five times dealer cost. It's a lot easier to sell somebody all that stuff on payment than it is on the amount uh, that it's going to cost you or the amount it adds to your loan. That's why they always try to sell you on payment instead of how much money you're financing. And so many people get suckered into that and wind it up. All they're looking at is how much it's costing them a month instead of how much they're financing. And they're financing a $40,000 trailer for $55,000. They have no idea. All they care about is their monthly payment. And uh, that's the wrong way of looking at it, guys. Always, always, always keep your amount financed as low as possible payment will follow in line with how much you finance if a dealership charges you more to go to your own bank or they charge you more to uh bring cash find another dealer don't pay fees and never ever buy any upsells no matter how good they make it sound 
none of those items are dealership exclusive like i said it's marked up four or five times dealer cost here you're going to find straightforward simple pricing 34.9 plus applicable sales tax that's it easy simple done haggle free firm if you need a weight distribution kit installed we do those 500 dollars installed parts labor the whole shebang if you need delivery it's a dollar a mile round trip and that covers fuel and my driver's pay and wear and tear in our, our vehicles so the obviously that's optional the delivery and the uh, weight distribution kit hitch with sway control built in so anyway um i can't get any more simpler than that guys so keep in mind just because you see a price advertised online you're not going to be able to buy it for that price nowhere even close here yes you can in other words guys if you're coming from out of state you're not financing it you're just going to bring cashier's check or do a wire transfer um and there's no lien on it you bring me 34.9 you just bought a brand new 20.3 nobo if it's in stock you can see guys uh it does have a slide out uh it does have a uh the beast mode nitrogen field off-road tires does have the heavy duty pvc roof system which is the most heavy duty flexible roof system you can buy 30 amp electrical service does have a power awning i apologize i kind of got them crammed in here so it's kind of hard for me to really show what i wish they would have uh, uh let me shoot this thing before they parked it in here but hey we'll do the best we can let me get down here and try to show you this beast mode i mean look how tall this thing sits up i mean i know it's on a downhill slope uh stabilizer jacks but you can really see under this thing and this is where it's so, so much out so different from other campers and um this is all curd engineering so it's all covered under warranty you've got your goodyear wrangler all-terrain tires heavy duty coil springs uh that's your uh notice of bumpers to keep you from bottoming out i mean no axle I that, it, that's just so cool you don't have to worry about warping an axle <laughs> you don't have to worry about um dragging an axle notice it's all enclosed i did order this with the extended seat four season package sorry right here by the road might pick it up some road noise so um it does have the heated holding takes the enclosed underbelly and uh you know not only does this make this handle the off-road better but it also helps it ride better on the inside so again all your stuff if you go off-road your stuff's less likely to be all laying in the floor when you get there <laughs> and um and that's just something that nobo does that makes them totally unique and different among other uh, rv manufacturers also new model new change for 2023 factory standard uh tire pressure monitoring system included with it so you do get that as well so if you have a flat on one of your trailer tires you can uh, you'll know in your vehicle while you're towing it so pretty cool guys pretty cool and um also available in 2023 is the now, of course, this unit doesn't have it because it's a very, very expensive option. I can special order it for you. Is the unplug package for those of you who are seriously into some extreme boondock camping, and that is where you can run your complete electrical system, including the air conditioner, completely off of solar for several hours. Um, it's a very expensive option. It's about eleven, twelve thousand dollars, and I have to special order it. Um, it takes uh get with one of my salespeople, but it takes about nine or ten weeks to order a new nobo with the unplugged package it is available in any nobo from the 16 series on up um, and it includes a 3000 watt inverter uh, several solar panels on the roof uh, a whole battery bank so that you can run everything without having shore power or a generator i did a review on a 19.8 we had the prototype several months ago it is now available on all nobos 16 series and bigger obviously the smaller ones there's not enough room for all the required solar panels on the roof like the 10 series but anyway let's get on up here and um 
30 amp electrical service it does have the full size spare tire hopefully you don't need that but you have it if you do cargo loading door for the back that goes underneath the rear bunks roof access ladder speaking of roof let's pop a drone up take a look at that roof now just because this unit doesn't have the unplug package doesn't mean it doesn't have solar you still got a uh, you still have a 200 watt solar panel you still got a 2000 watt built-in inverter and a 200 watt um you still have your you still have your charge controller as well let me pause the video for a minute pop a drone up show you what that looks like So you've got all your you've got all your goodies up there as well as your kayak rack you still got your uh uh power awning this unit's got the bush kitchen which i don't have set up right now because i really don't want to break the seal i'm gonna keep everything brand new in the box for you but it's got a griddle cooktop uh, it's got lp quick connect hookups out here uh, outside high pressure spray point uh port to spray everything off it also has um your air 360 antenna and more so a lot of a lot of features in a relatively small camper don't you think and you got the magnetic uh catches on all the outside bays you do it is set up for solar on the side for go power so you can order the suitcase solar panels for additional solar capability uh, six gallon DSI propane water heater, LED outside light that you can uh, adjust between bright and amber for nighttime use to keep the bugs away from you. You do have the step above fold up steps, so a lot more stable to go in and out because you do have to step up quite a few steps because of the extra ground clearance. I love the new doors on the Nobo. It looks like glass, but it's just a standard door um let me show you real quick you can see you still got the standard door but it just looks like a glass door on the outside you cannot see in it uh this is just an advertising piece that's easily removable it's just cardboard it does have the asdell construction exterior construction so you don't have to worry about delamination it does have uh the rhino rack system again it does i ordered this one with a standard kayak holder canoe holder so and you can get on Rhino Rack's website and order accessories, multiple accessories, ski rack holders, cargo holders, baskets, multiple accessories for that Rhino Rack system directly from Rhino Rack. So you can make it your own. Uh, it does have an aluminum frame. Of course, the PVC roofing membrane. Uh, these, I mean, it's just got so much going for it, guys. Big solar panel. Uh, got the big, uh, that is a uh, dual pane front windshield in the front. And of course this is the Murphy bed model with that makes a queen bed or a sofa during the day. You got a lot of features guys. Beast mode of course, cold weather package, solar on board, Asdale, you name it guys. This thing is uh, a loaded camper. No bow and I like carrying stuff that not just your standard stick and tin camper like you can pick up at any rv dealer in the country i like carrying different stuff um that's what makes us different we're a different kind of rv dealer so we like carrying different kinds of rvs this is the only brand that i carry new everything else we sell is used uh, this is the only one i've got one new work and play left after that i'm not going to carry them anymore but um this is uh really nice camper guys really is and if you want something unique this is definitely for those of more the outdoor type kind of rv -er that wants to take and enjoy the outdoors and um this is that style rv let's look inside and i love the 20 series because it's a full eight foot wide you've got the tall roof so you've got a lot of space in here so if you are trapped in your camper on a rainy day, you're not going to go stir crazy. You've got the full size beds in the back, which are bunks. And these are actually uh, 52 inches wide. So these are actually bigger than full size beds. So you can easily sleep two adults in each of these beds. This bottom bunk folds up 
so you can put your bicycles in that rear cargo loading door uh, load your stuff up without bringing it through the camper you got multiple usb chargers for your phones and electronics throughout the entire rv and you've got your sofa in the front and what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my phone up on a tripod real quick show you how easy it is to set this bed up to go between daytime and nighttime my audio may get a little funny because it's set on rear uh mic instead of front but i think you get the idea uh let me set this up right here so you can see good move this out of the well that's just strapped down all right hang on one second show you real quick it is set daytime use now if you just want to take a nap quick nap one person you can set it up like this or if you want to bring this down to make your full bed your queen bed pop this lever right here and bring it down one-handed And that's your queen bed. And just as easy to set up. Look at this. I'm going to set this back up one hand. One hand. In theory. Okay. Lightweight. Latches. One hand. One hand. nothing to it i like it guys i really do you do have a uh, 32 inch tv standard it comes with it so it's covered by your factory warranty again you got a 2000 watt inverter so you can power you know your computer laptop uh small appliances things like that without having a generator or shore power just unfortunately not enough to power your ac uh, this unit does have the upgrade 15,000 BTU uh, brew fare. Easy upgrade. I do like the little bar area, breakfast bar area. I forgot to turn the LED lights on the awning. <laughs> USB chargers. This is your control panel for your inverter. And again, more USB chargers. So, you know, if you're sitting down at the couch, you can charge your phone up. If you're sitting down... Uh, if you want to plug them up right there, you can. If you want to plug them up in the bed, you can. So they've got chargers conveniently located everywhere. So uh, This does make a bed. This table booth does. Very, very easily. And you do have the nice appliances. Stainless steel, of course. Got the little blue LED accent lights. It does have the optional... Uh, speed cook microwave and convection oven more usb chargers in case you need to charge your phone while you're preparing dinner uh, big uh, single basin sink big deep sink for dishes and stuff like that uh, this unit does have the large 10 volt uh, or it's 12 volt 10 cubic foot rv uh, 12 volt refrigerator it's already at operating temp you know good thing about a 12 volt refrigerator is it has a ton of space and it cools off a lot faster than an rv refrigerator so and i know there's pros and cons no matter how you go but with that solar panel you can keep your batteries charged to run your fridge you know literally indefinitely especially if you add another battery to it and of course your full-size bunks in the back like we went over earlier this unit also has which i don't have it on right now but you do have a uh built-in vacuum system central vac system basically a, a, a central dust pan and your bathroom let me move this ladder out of the way one design flaw guys i do not like is you have to move that ladder to open up the bathroom door all the way uh maybe they can redesign that a little bit if, if nobo's watching this um bathroom i mean considering the size camper you have is very roomy a lot of natural light in here. You do have the upgrade fan. You do have your charge controller. You know, it's a sunny day. We're getting almost 12 uh, volts. This got your heated holding tanks. Of course, I got all the lights on. You normally wouldn't have that. 
water pump, water heater, tank monitor, everything in here. Do have the, uh, I believe, 30 gallon fresh water tank. Shower miser, aqua view. Which I'm assuming that that aqua view is just the fact that everything's so light and airy in here. Medicine cabinet, sink, plug-ins, and everything's brand new, factory warranty. We don't try to sell you any kind of, of worthless aftermarket warranty, guys, because that's exactly what they are. It's worthless. Only good ones a, a factory warranty, and. And you know what else? We've already PDI this thing. Guys, we do above and beyond what Forest River sends for a PDI. In other words, guys, they send a sheet that has a, that all Forest River dealers have to perform before, uh, before we can let the customer have it and before the warranty goes into effect. We've already done it. And um, we've, uh, and we go above and beyond that. In fact, we go quite a bit above and beyond that because we don't want you coming back with a warranty repair. Now, I'm not going to say that you won't come back with a warranty repair, but less likely to because we go above and beyond, try to try to nip everything in the bud before you take it the first time. That's another thing that makes us different from other dealers. Other dealers, they thrive on warranty repairs, guys, because once they get the money, they just figure you bring it back three or four times for warranty repairs during the warranty period. They get paid in Forest River for that. They already got paid for the camper. I'd rather try to get everything fixed up front. So, well, you know, even if you don't buy your new Nobo or any new dealer from us, make double sure whatever wherever you buy from that the dealer you buy from does a PDI inspection, pre-delivery inspection, which is done at no cost to you. Now, don't ever let a dealer charge you for doing an inspection on a new RB. They're paid from the manufacturer to do that. So if they're if they're charging you for a inspection, a PDI on a new RV, they're getting paid double for it. And you need. Sorry about that, guys. I had another overheat. Um, which hopefully this cool weather coming in that won't be a problem much longer. Um, luckily I had a freezer, a cold freezer, to stick this in to cool it off quickly. What I was getting at, guys, is if you don't buy from us, make sure the dealership you go to. Uh, does a PDI on your new camper that goes above and beyond what the factory sends with the packet with the camper um, If you do you got a good dealer uh, And I know that's a lot to take in, you know, don't charge fees. It doesn't charge you more to take your own uh, To take to bring your own money or go to your own bank and then does a PDI on top of that above and beyond what the what the uh, uh, what the uh, manufacturer recommends but we're not the only one that does business like that there's only a few out there but we're not the only one and um so you know if you find a dealer like that you've got a good one and uh, of course you know price too big big factor you know 34.9 plus uh, plus applicable sales tax for a you know what's going to cost you probably close to msrp everywhere else and even though yeah you're going to spend you're, you're going to buy it for a lot less than msrp by the time again the time they add the fees and the upsells they're going to they're, you're going to be paying right at msrp or even higher by the time you add everything else to it so they're going to get you one way or the other here guys it's 34 and nine plus applicable sales tax that's it easy simple and done but let's go over the uh the window sticker Right here on, I've got stuck right here on the refrigerator. So you can see everything that it comes with. 20 series, package X, uh, 12 volt TV, all LED lighting, 15K air conditioner, $5,075 package, uh, beast mode package, which I would be crazy to get one of those without that. Also includes all the solar panel, inverter, uh, all that good stuff. Um, everything together. It's 3600 and then 2100 so that's about another $5,000. Break it down, guys. If you want to read all this, you're certainly welcome to. Pause the video. Read all the fine print. But the breakdown is base price is $41,499. I've got $10,875 worth of options. 
Total MSRP is $52,374, and there's no factory brochure for this currently. Uh, they're still fall behind on the 20 series and the 2023 brochures. So there's all the, the specs I put on there for you that'll help you out if you want to pause that. And of course, guys, that's our price. So $52,374, it's $34,900, that's what, $17,000? 17474 under MSRP with no upsells and no added fees. So like I said guys, even if, if another dealer matched our price at 349, they're gonna add fees, they're gonna add upsells, you're gonna be paying right there close to MSRP by the time they add all that. Here guys is 349 plus applicable sales tax. No gimmicks, no surprises simple out the door pricing and you know when you when you get that out the door price guys you're not going to beat it anywhere else not for a new one and that's what dealers do guys they mark their prices down and they make up that price on making the profit on all those upsells and charging those fees it's just basically shuffling profit around guys we don't shuffle profit around we just keep things easy simple and done here 34.9 uh, you know, we've been doing this for over half a century, and, and you don't stay in business that long doing business like that. And, you know, we're, we're a mom-and-pop independent store. We're not a franchise dealer. Uh, we, you know, we sell five to 600 used RVs a year. We sell quite a few new ones because of our pricing. I mean, where else are you going to go and get a brand-new 20.3 Nobo 2023 full factory warranty for $34.9 plus your sales tax? Nowhere else. They might advertise it for a uh, for close to that price, but like I said, by the time you hook up and leave with it, you're going to pay ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars more than that advertised price. But not here. Don't believe me? Make a call. Ask them. Hey, if I bring a cashier's check and not have to pay a dime out of my pocket, what's that? What's that camper going to cost me? You're going to be shocked. And most of them, they won't even tell you that over the phone. But if you do, if they somehow do tell you, you're going to be shocked at, at the number you get compared to what the advertised price is. They're going to tell you all these gap insurance and, and tire and wheel packages and, and, and interior and exterior protection packages and all this junk. It's not worth the paper it's written on. And, you know, those, those aftermarket warranties aren't worth the flip. If you need gap insurance, which you shouldn't because you're buying it this far under MSRP, you're technically buying a new RV for a used price. So, I mean, you're going to be ahead of the, you know, good thing about buying one from us and not paying and not buying those upsells, you're staying ahead of the depreciation curve. So, you know, as far as your payoff to what it's worth, to what it'll be worth a year from now, two years from now, you're, you're, you're going to have a good jump on that as far as what it's worth to what it will be worth a year or two from now to what you owe on it if you finance it so that's a, that's a good thing about buying from us versus these other guys i mean obviously if you owe 50 grand on something and next year it's worth 30 because it's used instead of new well <laughs> i would rather pay if something's gonna be worth 30 grand next year i'd rather pay 34.9 for it instead of 50 wouldn't you <laughs> so anyway and we do have financing available with approved credit now payment unlike the other dealerships we don't mark interest rates up you know whatever the bank approves you for is what you pay whatever the rate is the terms of the dealerships they got these that's why they want you to finance them because they get you approved at one rate but they mark it up one or two points and the banks let them do that let the dealer keep about 80 percent of that profit banks gets a little piece of that so it makes them happy and uh the, the consumer gets the shaft no other better way of putting it. That's how they make money, guys. I mean, they make they can they can overcharge you by thousands of dollars on RV financing, and you don't even know it. All you know is wrote on that finance contract. That's because you're dealing with the middleman, the dealer. You're not dealing with the bank directly. You don't talk to the bank directly. You deal with the with the finance manager at the dealership. He's he's a middleman. He's the one that's making the money, marking everything up. But here, guys, like I said, easy, simple, and done. Uh, the only add-ons, if you want them, we have is delivery. It's a dollar a mile, one or both both ways, round trip. Two dollars a mile, one way, if you want to figure it that way. And if you need a weight distribution hitch with sway control, it's five hundred dollars installed. Uh, Rip-off world charges twelve hundred dollars for the exact same setup. Is that brand 
size and everything so anyway thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it and smash me a thumbs up i don't do new rvs very often but i think i kind of opened your eyes up to how to save some monies if you do insist on buying new what to look for how big dealers make money remember big dealers don't become big dealers by giving people good deals on new or used rvs that's how they become big dealers by maximizing profit so you know stick with the independent mom and pop stores if you don't buy I man we prefer you i prefer you buy from us but if you don't you know try to find an independent dealer guys mom and pop family owned dealership because and not one of those corporate dealers uh pretending to be a family dealer a family dealer doesn't have 20 different locations across the country that's not a family dealer that's a corporate dealer big difference but anyway thank y'all for watching i really appreciate it and um come out and take a look at it call before we come to look make sure it's available it's the only one i got in stock i just got a call uh from nobo i do have a 19.3 coming in and another 16.6 .6 coming in uh, both equipped very similar to this one so i'll have those online here hopefully the next week or so uh call if you're interested in knowing pricing or anything on, like that on those and if you want to order one of these with the unplugged package uh give us a call we'll, we'll get you a quote on a price and a lead time uh thanks again 706-965-7929 hit that subscribe button and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia